Hello there. Nice to see you on my channel. Uh, if that's our first video from my channel that you're viewing, uh, quick, quick introduction. My name is Bartosz. I'm a software developer from Poland. From time to time, I record some tutorials, some reviews. That's generally my hobby. Uh, all of my videos somehow uh, orbit around the topic of uh, technology and uh, it's going to be the same with, with, with this one. So today I would like to show you how to install custom watch faces from an unofficial shop, unofficial store uh, on the Amazfit Balance watch. Uh, well, maybe I should say Amazfit. I, I'm not sure really how to, how to properly pronunciate that, that uh, brand name. I've seen and heard, well, heard both, uh, both ways. In my language, it's Amazfit, so I'm going to, to say it that way, and I think it does not really matter much. So why this is even a topic, why we even uh, need that? So if you look at the original store of watch faces, with, with watch faces in the Zep app, let's do that now. You will see that there is quite a lot to see there that you can find quite a lot of uh, watch faces uh, grouped under few few categories, a lot of free ones, uh, some paid ones. Well, I think that generally everybody can find uh, him or herself uh, a good watch face here, but still that store is fi fi uh, far from perfect, being perfect. Uh, the first problem which I uh, have with it is the lack of any, any filters. So you can search for something, but it's basically search by name. So you cannot group, uh, for instance, uh, only by uh, digital clock or only by analog one. Uh, you cannot filter by features. And that's already a big problem enough. Uh, that, that's already a problem big enough for me. But uh, there is a second one. Uh, from my perspective, even a bit more important. When I bought the Amazfit Balance 1, it already had uh, a bit higher resolution than, than other devices from the, from the same company. And I believe that actually in the, apps, in the Watch Faces store in the Zep app, it's not really filtering uh, ones only designed for my watch. Uh, this results in some uh, some watch faces being a bit blurry on, on the screen of my watch. I think that they are simply extended to match the resolution while originally be uh, created and designed for, for, for smaller ones. Uh, that, that made me look for some alternatives. I've asked on Reddit where to look for some maybe uh, other ways of installing watch faces. And, uh, and it seems there is one. So there's a custom store, an official store, which uh, uses the fact that the, the ability to install custom watch faces through the developer options on, on our watch. Thanks to the fact that the uh, that Zep OS is to some level an open system, which allows installation of custom apps and custom watch faces, we can install those through that uh, section of the, through, the, through that capability for, uh, for developers. So it's a three-step process, uh, which is a bit harder only at first. Uh, go, when, when you will go through it once, you will quickly see that installation of next watch, watch faces is, is super easy and everybody can easily go through it. So let's try to do that now. I will show you how to install those, those watch faces. So the first step uh, is us enabli enabling the... Uh, the developer options uh, in the Zep app. To do so, we need to go to the home screen, then click on the profile icon in the top right uh, part of the, of the screen, go to settings, to about, and quickly five times click on the Zep logo. See, you have activated developer mode. Please debug and develop in developer mode on the device page. So that was the, uh, the first step. Now let's go to the next one uh, and 
this will be the last, let's say, problematic part here. Really. So the second step is to install the app on our phone, uh, depending on uh, if you're using iOS or Android, the pro procedure is a bit different. Uh, well, because the store is different, but well, we all know how to install apps on our phones, I think. <coughs> so let's go to Google Play Store in my case, as I'm using Android. And let's search Amas Faces app. Amas Faces. Let's, it's, it's an app from a team called Geek Teams Web. Let's install it. Open. We can now select our device. We need to select our device. As you can see, the list is quite, quite long. We cannot find balance two yet here, uh, but probably it's all need to determine the, uh, the, the initial filters. Balance. Ah, we can select balance or balance two. See, so the, uh, Amazfit Balance is quite a new device on the global market. It's only for a few months. Uh, sorry, so sorry, on Chinese market, it's only for a few months, and on global one, uh, it's a it's a fresh device, and we can already click, and we can already select it. So it seems that the app is quite intens intensively developed, and it's up to date. We can ch change the language. Uh, agreed. Consent, apply. Uh, I don't encourage you to do what I did now. You can, of course, uh, decide if you consent and if you agree to all those uh, all those rules which were in those terms and conditions yourself. So now we are in the in the store, which already gives us filters, and we can find it much more filled with dozens of of watch faces. So everybody should be able to find something, something for himself or herself here. So let's try to install a watch face. First thing to do is to go to a single watch face and let's click install watch face. You can support the app. You can pay some, uh, some tips to them, which will grant you the option to use the app without ads. Uh, I'm not paying, so I need to see the ads. So now we need to select the version. Sometimes there are few here available with, uh, different settings, for example, for different languages. Usually you can find the, the description in the name. If there's only one, well, it's simple. Well, now you need to see the ad. And now the most, most problematic thing, because we need to install the a companion app on the, on the watch itself. Uh, this part is only hard when we, when we do it for the first time. So we click the first time setting up button, text the link here, and it informs us about the three-step process, which I mentioned before. So we already went from the, through the first part, so we activated the developer mode. The second step is to install the QR Amas Faces uh, app on our watch. It's a companion app for the uh, for the for the installation process. To do so, we need to install it through the developer tools in the Zep app. So, expand the, the section, click QR Faces, consent, consent. On the first screen, it again instructs us about the uh, Amas Faces app. Let's go to the next step. So let's go to the next screen, select our watch. It's a must fit balance. And here you've got two options. The first option is to actually open that on your computer or other phone and scan the code through your phone where, where you've got the uh, Zep app installed or simply take a screenshot. Now cut only the, the QR code. Now go to, go to your Zep app. And assuming that we're on home, go to device, to your, to your watch if you have more devices. So in my case, it's balance. Go to device settings. 
Uh, sorry, no, 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 no. Go to general, developer mode, and here you've got two sections, watch face and mini program. Go to mini program, click on the plus icon and scan. And as you could, you can see now, uh, you could scan the QR code from a different device, but instead we can simply open the, the code from the file. Open in the top corner, top right corner. You can see some photos of my dog now lying in the grass and the shoes, which I recently bought. Sorry for that. And our border with Belarus. <laughs> uh, so let's click on the QR code. Uh, it will just silently quit here, but I will show you on my watch that the app is actually there. If you open your watch, see the list of apps. See that small icon with that A and W. And it tells us to enter our pin from the Amas Faces app. So now let's go back to, to, to our Amas Faces app. And here you can see, going back to the watch face itself, if you install, click the install watch face button. And here you can see your pin number. You need to enter that pin number on your watch itself in that app with the QR code. So let's open the app. Edit. My code is 00677. And it shows us the QR code, which we are going to use to install apps on our, uh, on our device, on our watch. I suggest to take a photo of that QR code with your phone so that you don't need to actually open the app and scan it each time you want to install a, a custom watch face on your device. Uh, let's cut the QR code and that the photo with the QR code so that actually only the code is displayed there. Uh, not sure if the photo which I made is good enough, but we'll see that in a second. So, uh, historically, uh, the app, the Zep app, did not allow us to open files. It allowed us only to, to actually scan the codes. Uh, that is why the, the, the procedure is like that. Purely, theoretically, this could be now simplified. The Amas Faces app could uh, just generate as already a file with the QR code. Potentially at some point uh, that the app will allow such feature. So now let's go to, uh, to any uh, watch face uh, which we want to install. So again, let's, well, let's select a different one now. Let's click install watch face. And now to our account identified by the pin code, that watch face has been assigned uh, on Amas Faces server, which means that now if we scan the trigger pulling by that particular code, it will load the last selected watch face in the Amas Faces app. So now we selected this one. Let's select it again. Our account is now uh, set to this uh, to this watch face. So now need, we need to go back to Zep app. So assuming that we're on the home screen, we go to device, general, developer mode again. And this time, instead of mini program, we go to watch face. And here we're going to scan that QR code, which we generated through the Amas uh, QR faces app on our watch. I will now show you on my watch how the watch face changes when I scan the code. Again, I'm opening the file. See? The watch face is now installed on my, on my watch. And that was the first process, which may be a bit more complicated than, than usually, that most of us uh, are used to. But from now on, installation of next watch face is quite trivial. So let me show you that. Go to Amas Faces. 
I, for example, like that uh, that watch watch face with kittens. Install watch face. There's one with en, so I'm assuming that's going to be English. My account is now uh, set to 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 download this this watch face with kittens. So let's go to Zep watch face in the developer screen. Scan. Open that QR code. Let's wait a second. See, and I've got, got now a cute watch face with kittens. So that's a normally installed watch face. So you can go back, of course, to your previously installed ones. And then go back to the one with kittens. And that's all. As you could have seen, the, the process at first is a bit more complicated that mm, when compared to what we are, most of us, we are used to. But uh, after you go through that, through that three step process once, and you will learn that later it's just scanning of a QR code once to install another watch face, it's get, it gets really, really simple. It works on most of the, if not all, Amazfit devices. So I encourage you to try. You're not losing anything by trying. So why not? And you're gain, gaining access to a whole new repository of, of uh, watch faces. If you have any questions, any suggestions, let me know in the comments section. Uh, I'm really happy to, to see them and to answer them. Uh, I encourage you to give a thumbs up and uh, to subscribe to my channel. It will be a signal to me that it's worth for me to make more videos in English, uh, despite my, uh, my my language. But I think everything which I said was easy to understand that, that I managed to, to communicate to you what I wanted to communicate. For now, thank you very much. Have a great day and hopefully see you later. Bye.